hypertrophy week. We have legs today. So let's get let's get opened up. We're gonna start with a two-minute couch stretch. I'm gonna use the ball, not a couch. But find a little spot that you can bring that foot up onto. Couch, bench, small little child, just kidding. But find something you can get that back leg up onto, bring that knee closer to whatever you are putting your foot onto, and it will intensify the stretch in your front quad. Next up, bring your hands up and then press your hips toward the kneeling side. Squeeze your butt, press forward for a little, a little bit more intensity. So let's do 30 seconds each side times two. Alright guys, next up, we're going to do one minute worth of wipers. So, just to get the lower body loosened up, we are doing legs today, like I said earlier. So, keep your feet neutral, your hips neutral, legs, and then just rock back and forth. Dropping your knees to one side. And obviously dropping to the other side. Really easy, light on the lower body. To get some blood flow. We're doing a minute work, so after about 15 seconds or so, if you wanted to, you can bring your knees up to a tabletop position and do the same exact thing. It's just going to get more core work. You may feel a little bit more in your lower back as far as stretching goes. Part of like a walking and biking trail up there too. Is there? Yeah, it's closer. It's it goes through the hills and it and it crosses over to to like onto like Burt Mills Road in that area. Warm up for the legs. Today is going to be 10, 10 rounds. Should yeah. take you about yeah. It's definitely an increase in volume and it's all. Three exercises are built to kind of get not only the, the muscles that you're going to be working later on warmed up, but also tire them out a little bit. Okay. Something called a pre-exhaust. So we're going to tire the muscles out, and then we're going to work them later. So we're really getting extra work okay. on certain muscle, certain muscle groups, I should say. So 10 rounds, 15 minute time cap, three exercises. You'll have plenty of time if you just create a nice pace for yourself. Don't rush, it's not a con week. First exercise, walk out, fold over at your waist, walk yourself out to a high plank position, and then walk yourself back. Try to keep your hips, um, try to keep your hips back and your legs straight, and just fold up. Try to get that hamstring stretch. Okay, next up is knee ups. Get the hip flexors and core fired up. I'm gonna suggest Grabbing two kettlebells, of course, if you have them, and then keeping the shoulder blades back, holding a nice, good, strong posture, and then doing knee ups in this position. Really planting that foot in the ground. Whoa! You see, if you're not concentrating, you will kind of lose your balance. But plant that one foot down, press into the floor, and try to lift the opposite one up as far as you can, preferably parallel to the floor. Doing five each. And third, glute bridge. Get those glutes fired up. So you're taking a supine position here. Tuck that butt underneath. Make sure that lower back is flat on the floor. And then press your hands into the floor. Make sure you squeeze the glutes up as high as you can possibly go. We're doing seven of those. Okay, 10 rounds. Should take you no more than 15 minutes, that's gonna be your cap. Work period, we're gonna do a little supersets, okay? So the first block of the work period is gonna be four sets. So back and forth, back and forth, okay. four times with a blend of 
high reps, higher reps with lighter weights. Okay. That's going to be your superset kind of concept, and that should be your mentality with the first half of it. Your two exercises, your first set, superset. First up is step up. So one, one foot on the box or bench, whatever you got. Press up, switch, sh shift over, I should say, other foot. Still keeping that good strong posture. Pressing through the center of your foot and trying not to let your heel come up over the box. Okay, that, that's the main ingredients with that. We're doing seven each. So lighter weights. If you can grab a set of lighter weights, awesome. If you just use your body weight, fine, not a big deal. But that is what we're doing for the first exercise. And you're gonna superset that with dumbbell front squats or any kind of front squats for you. And here, here in the body. Folks at home may have just use uh, dumbbells. So front squats, keeping that weight, obviously in the front part of your body. Foot position is neutral, wherever you're comfortable with. Keeping that good strong posture on the way down and on the way up, okay? We're looking to do a progressive overload with the front squats. Obviously, Kim, you can do progressive overload. Okay. Folks at home, if you have heavier dumbbells, we're looking to increase the weight with that second superset, with that second exercise, which is the front squat, okay? So I'm gonna go through the whole workout, or whole work period, and then we'll, we'll start. Okay, that's gonna be every two minutes in the minute, you're gonna start a new round. I left that part out at the beginning. Every two minutes, you're starting a new round. It'll probably be about anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds, maybe, if you're hustling. If not, it's gonna be 20 to 30 seconds of rest. Okay, and then every two minutes, you're starting a new round. After you complete four, we're gonna take a two minute break, two minute rest, and then you're gonna go to two more exercises, lower reps, heavier weights. Okay. Make sense? Your first is going to be a body weight. Body weight forward to reverse lunge. So take a nice gentle step forward, keeping that foot flat on the floor, and then right back into a reverse lunge. Here. Okay, that's one. And then you're taking the other side. Forward lunge, center, reverse lunge. Okay? forming two 90 degree angles basically. 90 degree angle here, and then a 90 degree angle here. Okay, just body weight, BW, we're doing five each. And then your superset is going to be a sumo squat. Sumo means obviously exaggerated stance, rotate your hips out. Keep your knees in line with your ankles on the way down. You can hold kettlebell here. It's gonna be a heavier weight though, keep that in mind. And we're doing a time under tension. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So about three to four seconds on the way down. And then three to four seconds on the way up. Okay? That's going to be a four to six rep range. And that's going to be your second superset, and we're doing four sets of those as well. Whoa, I got a little ringing in my ear. Finish your time, five rounds. Ascending time of work with an ascending rest period as well. So it's going to be five rounds. I'll keep track of the time. You keep track of your rounds and where you left off. Let me explain. So it's gonna be as many rounds as possible, so you're fighting for as many rounds as possible within those five rounds. Every round starts with 20 seconds of wall sits, and then it moves into 15 each mountain climber. So your first round is gonna be 30 seconds worth of work with 15 seconds of rest. Every round after that, we're gonna add 30 minutes of work, and we're gonna add 15 minutes of rest. 15 seconds. Sorry, 15 seconds. Good call, I didn't even hear myself say that. So, wall sit, easy breezy, get those quads fired up a little bit more. It's gonna be a nice spicy one for the leg day finisher. But make sure that lower back stays flat against the wall, and you're hanging out, ankles are directly under your knees. 30 seconds at a clip, or 20 seconds at a clip. Sorry, this is your position, right? Work on your posture as well, open up your shoulders. And you're going right 
right into 15 each mountain climbers. Try to keep that core nice and tight. Press your hands into the floor and keep that upper back rounded. That's your finisher. It's gonna be 10 minutes worth of work. Thank you.